Hey guys, uh, I'm Samantha and I'll be guiding you through this. Step one, let's gather supplies. You're going to want empty buckets, empty totes, uh, empty boxes that are in your garage. Anything that can help you just throw the toys in to get them into one big massive pile is what you're gonna use those for. Um, secondly, you're gonna want trash bags because you're gonna find broken toys and stuff and it's time to go ahead and get rid of those. Um, Ziploc baggies, which are amazing for storing playing cards, anything that has a broken box or little tiny pieces, just put them in a Ziploc bag. And then always make sure you have your water, hydration station, super important. And I always like to have some form of music playing in the background, uh, whether it's Nelly or like 90s country, could be either. So go ahead and get your supplies and I'm gonna gather those and then I will come back and uh, break down the steps that I'll use to get all of this chaos in order. I will also post pictures of what it looks like right now so you know what I'm talking about and I will keep you updated. Okay guys, step two is going to be to start. Um, if you can see behind me, see all these big nugget pieces, blankets, giant toys, pillows, stuff that definitely does not belong in this room and they're big and bulky, start there first. It's going to clear out the most space and then you can start working on all the little things after that. So step one, big bulky items, get them where they're supposed to go. They don't have to be put away completely and perfectly. Um, but get them out of your way and get them into the area that they're supposed to be. So uh, to clear out all the big things, which is also going to be, um, if you see down here, see like this track pieces and stuff, I'm going to go ahead and break all that down so that I have more room to get all of the little toys together. So big and bulky items out of the way. Thanks. Okay guys, step number three, we are going to use those big empty bins, boxes, whatever you can use to carry as many toys as possible to one location and then we're going to sort through it. So I'm going to, I would normally start um, like in the hallways and stuff, but my son decided he wanted to do a hot or an animal city in Hot Wheels City. So I'm actually going to start there because I have to like climb up in there and get all the toys. So I'm going to get that out of the way. Um, so. Here's what we're doing. Grab any toys that are on the floor, on tables, uh, in Hot Wheel cities, wherever they are, put them in the bucket, fill the bucket, take it to the living room or the biggest open space that you have and dump it. Repeat the process until all of the little toys, except for ones that may be dumped out like in a closet and they're supposed to be in that closet, go ahead and leave them there. Um, but anything that's just on the floor and out in the open, Get them in the bins, dump them, make one giant pile. Um, once you have all of the little toys in a big pile, good luck. Hey guys. All right. I am here with my pile of toys. So here's how this is going to work. I am going to sort all of the toys in this one big pile into multiple piles. I prefer to sort by type rather than set. And what I mean by that is, so say we have a Paw Patrol set of figurines and we have a Peppa Pig set of figurines. I'm not gonna store those separately. They're gonna go into one bin of like movie TV figurines. And then we're gonna have, what else do we have over there? you know, things that shoot. So like all of the different types of guns, whether it's a laser gun or a Nerf gun, anything like that, that all goes together. Um, we have one for all of the sea creatures, one for all of the animals, whether it's a farm animal, a forest animal, safari animal, whatever it might be. So next step, sorry, I'm out of breath. <laughs> um, the next step is to sort all of these by type. Then we are going to start putting them into bins by the type. So see all these empty bins? If the toys are on the floor, there's an empty bin for them. So we're gonna get those down and go through those as well. Um, as you're sorting, this is my favorite part. If a toy is broken, throw it away. Go ahead and just tell your kids, if a toy is broken, we throw it out so that they know. 
okay? So if it's broken, weird pieces, some Happy Meal toys that you're finding, throw them out. Um, the second thing I love about sorting through toys is finding stuff that I don't want us to have anymore, okay? So say we have, we have a lot of transforming dinosaurs. I don't even have one in this pile, but they're in a bin over here. And some of them are broke, so I'm gonna throw those out, but they just don't play with them anymore. They're just taking up a bin. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put those into a separate box and I'm gonna wait and see if they ask for it. If they don't ask where those are or want them within like two to three weeks, I'll either donate them. Um, a lot of the times I'll give them to our grandparents so that when the boys go and stay with them, they have those toys. So it's not like they lost them, but they went to nanny's house or they went to grandma's house. Um, so those are two really big piles you wanna keep um, in mind. So things that are broken, get rid of them. Things that you no longer want, like baby or baby style toys, stuff like that, put those in a pile and you're gonna box them up and put them out of sight and see if your kids ask for them. Okay guys, I have sorted into piles. I did go ahead and use my big bucket for the big dinosaurs because I know that's just where they go. Um, and I didn't wanna have to pick them up off the floor again. So I did that. Um, but I have all my piles sorted by type. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take all of these bins down and make sure that they only have what they're supposed to have in them. Um, once I do that, if it's a bin where some of these are supposed to go into, I'll go ahead and put those in. But I wanna clear out the clutter there too. Um, a, I'm gonna hide those <laughs> uh, transforming dinosaurs and hope that I can get rid of them. And that opens up another bin. And B, you just don't wanna start taking the stuff you just sorted and put it into an unsorted area. So that's what I'm gonna work on now. Uh, clearing out where we're gonna store the toys to make sure that all of that is decluttered. Then we're gonna put the toys we wanna store where we wanna store them. Hey guys, so I've gotten all of the toys that were in the pile sorted into the bins and this is how fantastic they look. So um, what I'm meaning by sort by type. So like I have like these two miscellaneous buckets. These are things that are typically like stocking stuffers, dollar store items, things I know the boys want to keep, but I really don't have a place for. Um, like all of our remote control cars are in here and I consolidate all the sea creatures in here. And what else is consolidated? These are all of the tiny dinosaurs and these are what we call the critters. So all of that stuff is sorted, but it has like its own spot as a group by type. So that part's done. The next step that I'm going to tackle today, which is going to be probably one of our last two steps, is I'm going to get all of the other toys that are kind of like, um, I don't know if you can see it, see that black table. I took the track down, but I haven't done anything with the stuff that was there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all of that stuff picked up and put where it goes. However, a lot of this stuff is going to go into the guest room closet, the what we call the nook, which is like this little playroom off the side, um, and the hallway closet where we store like the track pieces and books and stuff like that. So I'm gonna get them into those areas, but I'm actually going to tackle those areas on Friday. So on Friday, it'll be a take all the items out, clean it all, put it all back in for those specific areas because I've already done the cubbies in the living room. Winning. Um, okay, so that's what we're gonna start on next. Get anything that was not picked up during the initial toy gathering and um, get those put where they go as neatly as possible, but don't freak out. We're gonna tackle that stuff on Friday. All right, so I'll see you soon. Okay guys, look at that, it's not much better. Um, so this pile right here, those are those <laughs> transforming dinosaurs. I'm going to put those in a box and stick them in the garage and I'll see if Bodie asks about them. If he does, he can have them back. If not, they're going to Nanny's house. And then we cleaned up all in here. On Friday, I will tackle this. So. 
I will take everything out, find all the pieces to all the games, um, disassemble the Legos, get them into less buckets, stuff like that. This here is the staging zone to go downstairs. So this is all trash, except for the Hot Wheels. Those just live there for some reason. We've got Hot Wheels City all cleaned up. I will actually organize this more and make sure all the tracks are put together correctly on Friday. Uh, this closet will be done on Friday. And then I'll also go through this room more, but you can see that there was a huge pile of stuff here. Um, on Friday, I will take every one of those bins out. I will go through this toy box. Uh, this is kind of where I keep what I call the mess makers. So arts and crafts, beads, Play-Doh, stuff like that. So on Friday, those areas will be tackled. But if you followed along, your main areas should be done. 